cosas del pasado What's up guys, welcome back to another video Today guys, if you guys seen the title We're gonna be working on the blue trucks bed liner We're gonna be working on sanding it um, I recently bought the Raptor bed liner So we're gonna be putting that on the back of the bed Let me show you guys how the back of the bed is Yesterday I did work on it a little bit before the night had ended So let me show you guys real quick If you guys do see the background different Yes, it's a whole different background. Yes, it's a whole new house. So, guys, you guys haven't seen our house. You guys haven't seen our home. We recently bought a home. We've been hiding it from you guys. Not hiding it, just keeping it low. But stay tuned for that video. We are going to be showing you guys the full result, house tour, you know, all that good. The last night, we took the side panels off the bed. I took them off because... When we're gonna be doing the paint, the bed liner, we're gonna have to be taping up this piece and those, the the plastics were kind of covering the, the gap. So we had to take the bolt panels on top. And then I had started sanding the bed a little bit, but if you guys notice, guys, it does have bed liner already, but the people who done did it before, they didn't do it like, they didn't do a good job, and yes, I'm not professional either, but they left it all ugly. And also, when I took the truck to go get, get the work done in the back, with the whole suspension work in the back, um, I didn't do the bed liner on time, so that's another reason why I am, I'm doing it today, because all this right here, it's all getting all rusty, all this. So I've been sanding it. You can see rust over there too. So I've been sanding it with this metal wire a metal wire brush but I mean just so it could get a clean like flush like a clean surface so I could so the bed liner could stick good but yeah guys I'm still debating what should I do on the the letters which right here if you guys see it says Swallowham and then right there it says uh, Rojo's, Rojo's Customs big shout out to him he's the one that did the works on this the tubs, doghouse, and this whole suspension work in here. Oh, uh, you could barely see, but if you guys see in the, the other videos, he did all that. Checked out the fuel cell, the diff cover, the suspension, the four link, and all those goodies. But guys, this is the truck that we're gonna be working on. It's a single cab. Step side on 26s. Um, also has a sponsorship with Street Concept. I believe this is the ZR1 hood. If you guys see it, it still needs a couple work on it. But a couple months ago, we did do a front end on it. We put the HD front end um, and new headlights, new grill, new bumper, new valance, all that. But yeah, guys, let's get to it. And let's start sanding this bed. G Panda Beats. good but got some bad news that i hit up my mechanic my brother-in-law the one that's gonna help me do the bed liner 
uh, he told me that the compressor that he has, he needs an air filter. So we don't have an air filter, and the nearest one is either at Ace Hardware Store or Home Depot. So I, I either gotta go to Ace first because it's the closest one. If not, if it's not there, then man, I gotta drive like 30 minutes. So I, I'm gonna lose like a whole hour. Or so then I gotta go to Home Depot and pick it up because for sure they're gonna have it. So then we pick it up there, come back, finish what I was doing, and then hopefully we could do it. But the thing that's gonna suck is that we're gonna be doing the bed liner probably like mid. It's probably gonna, right now it's 6, 6.30, get back 7.30, start prepping it, 30 minutes, start painting by like 8, 9. So it's gonna be a little bit darker already. And what's it called? Then we start prepping it. But the, the good thing is that we're gonna be doing it in the garage where there's gonna be light. So we're gonna be able to see and have it ready for hopefully tomorrow and tomorrow it's going to be another vlog stay tuned for that but we are going to be dropping the truck off at a special shop so guys i got bad news ace hardware store is closed so now i gotta go to home depot which is 30 minutes away we get this done today it's 6 36 right now so hopefully we get it done because like i said tomorrow we're having we're trying to have our plans straight and we're trying to have the truck out by tomorrow so we could be at the, the shop so guys, I had to pick up Manny. We're on our way to Home Depot. Look like at what happened, guys. Again, over here and Salma. He's on his way. So guys, he was a cool ass cop. He let us slide. Supposedly I was speeding, but he said about the tent. So yeah, guys, we got pulled over heading to Home Depot. the next day if you guys see it's sunny more sunnier than yesterday but the reason why we couldn't do it yesterday is we were missing this part which is the gun we did buy this at Riley's for like 30 bucks this is what it, this is what it comes with and this connects to one of these right here this is the air compressor filter Let's get it. So guys, we just finished sanding this whole bed. Hopefully, it, it sticks on good. I'm not professional, but... So guys, if you see the difference, it was black before and then now it's great because of all the sanding. But this whole bed, I already had bed liner, the inside of the bed, so hopefully it sticks. And we're gonna try it out. We're gonna rinse it out, wash it out, and then tape it up after with this tape. Let's try it. So guys, we're gonna get the pressure washer and then we're gonna clean the back of the bed. It's gonna be like a good wash. But after I'm gonna clean it up with the uh, alcohol. So I can take care of off everything, but this is how it looks guys in the sun. All sanded. Like I said, you guys can cap on in the comments, but I'm not professional. I'm just trying my best to get this done. This is how it looks. guys we just let it sit it's already fully dry probably let it dry for like another 10 minutes and then we'll start getting to paint we're gonna tape it up on these edges we might add acetone just to clean it up a little bit but something that's gonna be bothering me it's gonna be this shit right here the person who did the work when he added that it was on a rainy day so i left it all mushy and nasty so hopefully we could cover that up with the the paint. OG Panda B.
Ready? And crack it. So guys, you see how it's cracking? This bed liner. The reason why it's cracking because they didn't sand it in the back. If you look at it, if you look close at it, it's just paint. So they just painted over it. So that's why the chips like that. So that's why it's like that. If you see guys, the bed liner is pretty thick. It's a pretty thick layer compared to just the paint. But if you see guys, look at how bad it's chipping. And that's the reason why we gotta do it again because they didn't do it right. Same thing over here. It came off right away. Cause look at guys, look at how smooth the paint is. You gotta sand it before you do it. And that's how a lot of shops are. Cause they don't, they don't prep it good. And I'm not professional, but they don't prep it good. And that's why it comes off. And let me show you guys an example. Same thing over here. When they do things like this, look at how bad it starts chipping. Look at how little bed is chipping everywhere. But this is actual paint. So whoever did it, they just did a paint job. Look at, but they also, this could have stuck good but they didn't sand it look how smooth it is back here and let me show you guys another example and let me show you guys another reason let me show you guys another example of how these shops they do these bed liners and they do not stick I took this truck this obs to get it done I took it to go get a bed liner same thing they got they got pretty down but let me show you guys. I guess it's a, it's a little messy because I've been storing stuff. But like example, look at here. It's chipping here. It's chipping here. Look at how fast it chips. You see with little pressure, look at, look at how bad. And the reason why it happens, because they do not sand it. They don't prep it right before putting on the bed liner. And guys, look at how smooth the paint job is in the bottom. You see? Look at, look at how bad this thing chips, look at. And that's why I gotta do all these, look at all these corners, look at how easy they're breaking. Look at that. And that's just with my fingers, guys. So that's why you always gotta prep before you're doing the bed liner, a paint job, and all that good, cause once you add this on later, it just starts cracking with the heat, the weather. And like I said, guys, you guys can comment down below and say some other stuff, but I'm not professional. I just know from what I know, but at least I try to prep it before doing it. Look at it. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna show you guys that piece. Look at how how bad it's gonna break. Look at look at this one, guys. Look at look at that, guys. Look at how bad that shit comes off. That's why some of these shops don't do pretty good, cause. Look at how bad this bed liner, it's bed liner that came off. Come on guys. But guys, that's why we're prepping it pretty good. And like I said, I'm not professional. Once again, I'm not professional. I'm just doing what I know. And the reason why you can't sand it as much as this is because this thing's bed liner is pretty thick. Look at how thick it is. But this is the prep tape. We're just waiting so we can take the bed off and then start painting. So I guess we came to the store because we had an idea for the bed liner. We do want to probably put like some glitter. We were looking for some like flakes too, but I don't think they'll have any. We'll check the other store, but I'll be taking these right here. These are $2.99 for these little pack, or this little jar. And then they got the white one. So we'll be putting white. White. White flake and silver flake.
she panned up you. Panda Beef. Who knows? We haven't put it in the sun yet, so we don't really know. But so far, so good. It looks, it looks pretty good. We just gotta let it dry for a couple hours, which I'm pretty gonna, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna let it sit for maybe the rest of the night. So check it out, guys. This is how it looks. Like I said, we did it ourselves with the the compressor, the kit. Oh. Okay, this is what I bought. I'll put it down in the description and I'll put it here on screen where I bought it at. I think I got it for like a couple, 130 I think. So I don't know how much I got it for, but I'll put it on the screen. But we added glitter too. Like, like you guys see, we bought it for two, like three bucks. And we bought three of them and I only put one. So the white one, it has like green flake into it and I didn't like it. So that's why we didn't put it, if you look at this one, I don't know, it has a plate, but that guy is The reason why the tailgate looks like this, because the gun, the south, it got, it got clogged, and we, don't, we didn't have no other gun, we just only had that one. And then that's all, all, all bumpy, so if you look at this tailgate, and you look at the bed, they look different. Oh, it looks look different, but at the end, it's red lining. But this is what got clogged, guys. This was the gun, and it got clogged up. 
but no pasa nada guys, we did it. Like I said guys, we're not professionals, but at least we got it done ourselves and we tried our best effort to get this done. And now, we're cleaning the bottom, frame the whole suspension right? so We're not gonna take the ball, you can see the whole suspension and color in it. guys this is the final results i'm gonna show you guys real quick like i said we are not professionals we just did it on ourselves big shout out to me nene and my brother-in-law my mechanic we got down on this so let me show you guys real quick how it came out and here it is So guys, these plastics on top of the bed, uh, yes, right now I know it looks ugly, looks nasty, it looks just like a junk, but we're gonna be cleaning it. I gotta clean all this scuff off. This old, I think it's like 3M tape. I gotta take all this off and just go get the 3M tape, go pick that up and then just clean all this dust because that looks nasty, guys. So once we put this piece, the back tailgate piece is gonna be complete. It's gonna look sick, but so far guys, this bed liner came out super sick. Big shout out to Rojo's Custom for doing the suspension work. Y'all go give him a follow. He added my logo right there if you guys see it. Came out sick. But this is it guys. This is the truck. Let me know, comment down below what should we do next. This was one for the list. So let me know guys, what should we do next on this badass build? Look at here, this is how the whole bed is. And then look at this, you see the difference? But this was the end of it, we did this last, so that's why it came off like that. It started speeding right here at the end, but then I just ended it on the tailgate. So it wouldn't look all nasty, but this is the final result guys. Guys, this is it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. What do you want to say to the vlog since you haven't been in the vlog for a long time? What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Hi. <laughs> Let them know though. Let them know. We are at. You guys already know they've done work on my pink truck, on the green truck.